Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to retrieve your, or display your forgotten wireless security key or phrase that you have for your network. Now this here is pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to retrieve that on your computer. Now everyone forgets their phrases and, and uh, web keys, uh, WPA key or WPA2 key. I'm going to show you how to recover that on the machine. Now we've got a Windows 7 machine here, 64-bit, but it also works on a Windows Vista and also XP as well. So let's first start off with the start or the all button down here and then click on uh, control panel and uh, what we want to do here is go to network and sharing center now if you don't see this view and you've got the category view it doesn't matter because it's the same thing we need to go to network and internet and uh, network and sharing center now once we're in there we should see our wireless uh, network connection um, but we want to go up to the left hand side here at the top saying manage wireless networks and click on that and we can now see our wireless network and uh, you can see it's been uh, securited with a WPA2. So we're going to double click on this. And once we've done that, we're going to go to the security tab here. And you can see our key is a bullet pointed there. We can't see what it is. But if we put a little tick in show characters, we can now see that complex uh, key that we need to use to connect to the internet. Okay, you can copy and paste this if you wanted to. Pretty straightforward, like so. Or you could just write it down now if this is not being displayed here and it's been hidden the security tabs missing I'm going to show you another way of getting around it so you may be using third-party software this is another place to check as well now this is actually got third-party software on here as well and as you can see in this version there isn't this security tab now what normally happens is down here you'll have the same thing where it will say uh, show characters or something like that and you can actually put the dot in there and it will actually show what's inside this box here this is um, not possible on this one so you may be scuppered if this is the case but I'll show you a way around it okay um, using a free piece of software and you can get that from this website here okay and all you need to do is download this uh, wireless key view and this is what it looks like I've already downloaded mine now you need to come right down to the bottom of the page here and this is where the actual downloads are if you look here um, you've got the 64-bit and the 32-bit version there okay so what I'm gonna do this is it here it comes in a zip format I'm gonna use 7-zip to open this up and it just drag this one key out onto the desktop like so I've already done mine so what I'm gonna do is right click on this and run this as administrator and say yes to this and there we have our key it's our that's our key there and there's the actual network we're connected to and what you've got to remember is if, if this pops up, if you've got any firewalls on, it will ask you to have access to a service. You have to allow that to go through, and then you will get displayed here. Okay, And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, really. There's one more thing you can do. Now, there's a picture of a router, as you can see. And on the back, you'll see a little label on the back of your router. And sometimes, if you're lucky, there'll be an SSID key there, also a web key or WPA key on there. And serial number and everything else or a phrase and you can that will be the actual uh, key and everything that you can use to log on to your network now assuming that this is that you haven't already changed this inside your menu if you have then obviously that's going to be no good to you but if it's defaulted and that's what it is then you can use that to log on to your network okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. And also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.